So now I'm streaming these guys, or at least I'm gonna try streaming them. Going to be remaking If You're Too Shy by the 1975 from scratch on stream. I mean, I, I love this song. The first thing that I'm thinking is this is gonna be a really difficult one. So it's it might be a little bit harder to remake, but I think we can I think we can get there. Yeah, I feel like that would be like a really dumb layer all on its own. But that's the thing is like, I feel like the key to most of this stuff is just like, how do I layer this with like five other things that then like make it like stand out against that mix? I'm just gonna use sub lap. I need like a really deep like sub low end. Oh yeah, that's hilariously close. That's the mixed wave, a uh, Tony Royster Jr. kit. Again, just getting general broad strokes right now, not really trying to nail anything. Yeah, we're using Strat for this. That guitar tone was a little bit different. It didn't have as much low end or spank in stuff that I've heard from them before. It felt very high passed. You know what? I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to look up tabs because we're on a stream and I just want to get this moving. Oh, okay. They're just doing like two note pedal stuff. <laughs> Ninety percent of the way there. Are we in E? I could have sworn. No, we're not. We're in D. Oh my gosh, that's why it sounds so bad. Yeah, there we go. And now I want to use a BA effect strip. Now I think is a good time to throw in the gated. So let's do. All right, now I think we just need a bunch of synth layers to build this up. And Arcade is probably gonna be our best bet for that just because there's so many things that are just like non-linear or weird ambient textures that I think we're just gonna need to use to fill up most of this track. Like stuff like that. I'm just like, okay, I don't really feel the need to recreate that intro completely from scratch because you can just get something like this that has a majority of those elements. Like there, that's the intro. If somebody tells you to remake that intro and they don't accept that, then you can just leave the project. And then we're gonna automate it down so that it comes down to this point. And then you just get these like little sparkly things of mid-range poking out over everything. I don't think it's that bass anymore. They take away that weird filtery thing. Actually, let's try it. Not a Juno, but uh, a Jupiter. And then we're gonna take just for this B section, that same subby bass, but we're gonna get something whiny going. There's like a weird like gah, gah, guitar that's going up. It's playing something super low. I'm almost trying to think of how to play that. That might be it. I don't know, something similar to that. I'm looking for Juno stuff, but that's pretty close. Then we'll use some towel. This is where it's getting really hard for me to distinguish what's happening. So close, but yeah, it's still like, it, there's something about it that's just not quite hitting right. I think we're missing some like brass. Just throw in some BA1. Yeah, just like a dirty Juno thing going. Yeah. 
Yeah, that feels like it fits. There is like a weird like radio sample happening in the background. And so I'm wondering if I just need to like let go of that and just be like, all right, we're just gonna get the main parts of it. That's the thing that's hard about like recreating 1975 style stuff is just there's so much stuff that you just, you can't replicate. You don't have a patch for like this one weird vocoded guitar layer that, you know, they made up on the spot in the studio. I guess we will make do for now. Let's actually just get a, a real Juno on that, or like an actual Juno plugin instead of this like weird patch in Anna 2. I just feel like so much of this track is just like weird distortion. All right, now we're gonna have to bite the bullet and do the chorus. got most of these guys down man I'm, I'm drained right now <laughs> having the guitar start up would be better <laughs> I forgot the tagline at the end of it. Did you shine me? All right, so there's a two, three, one. Then the drum fill. I, yeah, I'm trying to decipher exact parts now. I think I just need to let loose and just do my own thing because there's so many like funky guitar parts. Yeah, we're just gonna riff on some stuff like that and then bury it in the mix. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're so close, we're so close. What do I wanna do now? Let's go to like some... I wanna get that saxophone part going. Oh yeah, they have a sax section, thank God. Oh, that's, that's gonna be great. And then, yeah, actually, I might just have to use UVI. That's good. That actually sounds pretty nice. Let's try to get one more saxophone in there just to make the arrangement fill out a little bit more. All right, let's just uh, let's just keep it going. Some like twinkle DX sound. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go with that for a little bit, like a twinkle, little twinkle pad. The problem that I'm running into right now is that there is no way to get like a good like string section uh, without just hiring a string section, or sorry, a horn section, man. Okay, I think we've gotten everything that we can get from that guy. Just, it's so hard. I feel like it's not filled up enough, but it's also hard to know like what exactly is going on. You got a track vocal. I honestly don't know if I have it in me. I chose the wrong track to start streaming with. This is like the most labor intensive. When I go back and I listen to the original, there's just some weird texture. I, I just can't pin down what it is. It's like a horn layer or a live section thing. I just, I can't pin it down right now. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna, we're just gonna call it. This is after two and a half hours. This is what I was able to come up with.
so that is what we got after listening to it right now i know that there's like some there's a ton of layers in like the pre-course and the chorus that are just i don't have right now um i know there's like some low mid guitar stuff that i just i can't decipher right now i know that in the pre-chorus there's like some other like weird mid-range stuff going on yeah I, I got pretty close i feel really confident about like the verse intro that feels like it actually sounds like it but yeah that was the stream uh thank you everybody who came through see you guys next week